Hi my super sweet crafty friends, welcome to my channel Carolina's Creations Handmade. If you're new, please subscribe and click the bell button down below so you don't miss my videos. And today I want to share with you some projects that I made that would be perfect for graduates gifts. You can also make them to give to teachers or you can make them to decorate your uh, craft room etc. And uh, I'm actually using products from Arteza. As you guys know, Arteza has sent me material for me to use on my projects and review. And I also joined their affiliate program because I like a lot of their products. I'm going to show you here the products I use. I'm going to have links uh, down on the description below. If you're interested in the material and would like to buy it, I would really appreciate it if you consider using my links. If you use my link to purchase, you will help me earn a small commission. The price that you pay won't uh, be altered in any way. It would be the same whether you use my link or not. The only difference is that you would be helping me if you do. I'm also going to share with you over here on the screen and down below a discount code so you can use it to get 10% off. And I'm going to show you here. I'm going to be using self-adhesive vinyl. And this is again from Arteza. And you can see here, these are 42 sheets. They come uh, in several different colors. And so far, I really like them. I'm new to vinyl, honestly. But I've always wanted to try it. And I am so, so happy I did. And um, so far, I'm loving it. And you can see here, you have several different colors. Let me see if I can share with you. Over here, sort of like the different colors that you get you get plenty of colors here they're fairly large sheets you can see there are sort of like the different colors you get you get a super variety and uh, I'm liking the quality so far so the other thing that I'm going to share with you in a minute is something really exciting but they're 12 by 12 uh, sheets and you get 42 sheets in a pack I'm also going to be using heat transfer vinyl they come in 14 or 22 sheets. They're 10 by 12 inches. And you can see here the variety of colors that you get. I'm sorry it's going to be sideways, but you kind of like see the colors. And they also sent me the 22 uh, color variety. They're also 10 by 12. And you can see here all the colors you get. And I love this. I've only used one color so far because it's my favorite. And you guys know I'm going to show you right now the color I used. <laughs> it's a gold. Uh, you know, I love gold. So I've used the gold in the two uh, varieties. So this one is a heat transfer one. This one is the other one. But look at this. Look at this. It just looks like metal. It's super, super nice. I love this one. I'm going to show you how I use them. And you guys are not going to believe this. I'm actually new to vinyl. And uh, I know that uh, everywhere I see people use electronic cutting machines to work with vinyl. But I've been thinking, I mean, not all of you have electronic cutting machines. And uh, I was thinking it should be fairly easy to use them with your dies using your regular die cutting machine. <laughs> so I decided to make this project and so this would be again perfect to gift for new graduates and you can also give them to teachers or you can use them for bridal showers or home decor etc. So I'm going to share with you what I did. I actually use dies and you can see here this uh, is a die that I got at Tuesday morning that I shared with you on my last um, whole video and I'm also using this die from Spellbinders. So you can see one is fairly intricate. The other ones are silhouette, but you can see that uh, you can use more intricate dies for it. So <laughs> I actually painted this board and um, I die cut my unicorn using the self-adhesive vinyl. And you can see this board, it's not very smooth because it, I use paint from Heidi Swap and then I use paint from Martha Stewart that is glitter paint to cover the top of it. So the glitter makes it so it's not completely smooth, but you can see that my vinyl still adhere to it and it's pretty, pretty, pretty nice. It doesn't come off, it doesn't have any surfaces come up that you know that are going to start peeling off. 
at least not yet <laughs> and I don't think it's it, it doesn't seem like it's going to have it like that and I so love it for it it's super smooth and look at this how beautiful and I did this using a die no electronic cutting machine amazing so this is super cool because this opens up so many possibilities and you guys who don't have uh, electronic cutting machines can use your dies to work with vinyl and I'm going to share with you I had the little arrows yeah I have them here actually <laughs> they're transparent so they're not easy to see these are arrows from the ones that I use on my ironing transfers and look at this so cool and this you can use as stencils too because they're actually adhesive backed so you can use this on your projects to stencil isn't this amazing super super cool and then look at this look at how nice it works and it's die cutting using your die cutting machine and dies these dies are also arrows from spellbinders oh look at this isn't this just completely awesome so i'm going to show you here this one i haven't peeled off but you will see how the backing comes up like that I wanted you to see it so you can see how easy it is to work with this using your dies. Look at this. You can see here, you will get this shape as a stencil and it's adhesive back. Super amazing. It came off a little bit. It's really not the product, it's user error. And again, I can assure you this is user error. I didn't iron it. <laughs> properly you can see here where I did how nice it works it wouldn't come off at all so it's really nice so the rest I'm going to have to re-iron and you can see this is one of those cosmetic bags from uh, Dollar Tree I actually ironed it again and you can see that nothing comes off so I recommend that you make sure that you iron it real well before lifting it <laughs> left in the protective cover up yeah I'm new to this so you know it was user error but honestly I like this I really love it and I love the possibilities of, of being able to use it with my dies so if you don't have an electronic cut machine you can use your dies and you can see how beautiful it looks so this will make a perfect perfect present they match perfect and I'm going to show you also what else I made as part of the set. Look at this! Isn't this super, super, super cool? I love how this turned out. And this is actually from Dollar Tree. This is one of Dollar Tree's uh, tumblers. And this one you can personalize. And I just love this. Look at how this looks. And again, you don't need an electronic cutting machine. You can use your dies. And look how perfect. Amazing. I just so, so, so love this. So this come like this. So you can personalize them. And it, look, it looks amazing. And it's perfect as part of the gift. So this would be a nice gift set. Again, as I said, like for graduates or you can give them to teachers, etc. And I just love, love, love how this turned out. And you can see this surface is not uh, all smooth. It's like velvety. And even on the velvety surface, it works, it works perfect. I'm going to show you also, I made this little guy and I made this using a die from David Tatera. And this is a succulent die. And I'm using here felt from Artiza. And look at how nice. I just love the stiff felt. It's so nice to work with. It cuts perfectly, super clean, super easy to work with. And look at how beautiful, how dimensional it is. And I use my vinyl here too to decorate. Isn't this super, super stinking cute? So you can use your vinyl to decorate your projects and this is perfect to, to decorate your little craft room or different areas at your office. You can even decorate your desk with this. Isn't this super, super adorable? Love it! And look at how nice it cuts. Again, using a die, no electronic cutting machine. And look at this. Look at how nice. Perfect! I love how this turned out. And then I wanted to share with you also, you can see here the border, uh, I mean the frame here that I did, 
it actually is in this die from Spellbinders. I just cut it in half so it would fit. And look at how nice it turned out. And look at how teeny tiny these ones are. And this is a die. These are dies. And look at how good it cuts. So you can use your vinyl even with intricate dies. And it will cut really, really nice. And you can use them without the need of an electronic cutting machine. So this is just so, so, so cool. And I'm also want, I also wanted to share with you this guy. I think this is perfect for like bridal showers. And you can use this to sell at your craft fairs also. Look at how, how adorable. Look at how intricate this die is. This is actually a die from um, Crafter's Companion. And look how beautiful it turned out here. So, so, so nice. And again, no need for an electronic cutting machine. Amazing! So I decorated it here using this little blingy uh, mesh. And I added a little bit in here. And I'm going to add it. You can add a little tag here with a little tassel. This would be super adorable. And what I like too is that once the candle is used, then you have this as a container that you can use. And it's so stinking cute. This would be perfect for bridal shower party favors and you could sell this at your craft fair also so guys you let me know down below which one is your favorite and if you've ever used dyes to cut your vinyl i've never seen it before i've always uh, seen people using electronic cutting machines but i honestly love using my dyes you don't need to use your electronic coloring machine and if you don't have to, this opens up a lot of possibilities for you. I hope these ideas are useful for you. And uh, I am going to actually link over here on the video and down in the description below to other videos I have using Arteza products and also tutorials that I have. I recommend you guys watch them if you haven't because they're really nice ideas and uh, they're very easy to do. Keep an eye out tomorrow for my 10,000 giveaway video so you guys know what you need to do to participate. So thank you so much for watching. Welcome to all my new subscribers. And thank you so, so much to all of you, my super sweet crafty friends, for your love and support. I hope you're doing great and I hope to see you back here soon for another video. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Mwah.